Psalms 124, a song of degrees of David. If it had not been the Lord, who was on our side, now may Israel say, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us. If there isn't one nation in this world that everybody is against, and that would be the Jews. If there's any nation that anybody's ever tried to wipe out off this planet, it would be the Jews. Babylon, Syrians, Edomites, Palestinians, and to show that there is a God in heaven would be the fact is that you can prove today that there are Jews and that they are his people. And God is protecting them, even though God is angry with them right now, and they are set aside for lack of obedience to God and Jesus Christ. And the tribulation period is, is a time of correction for Israel. God is on the side of the Jew, and that promise that God gave to Abraham and Isaac, that I will curse them that curse you and bless them that bless you, is still valued and honored. Then they have swallowed us up quick with their wrath was kindled against us. If it wasn't for God, there would be no Israel. If God did not love the Israelites, the Jews, the children of Jacob, and to say with a wave of his hand the permission to, to Satan, Israel would be wiped off completely. Satan's going to enjoy the time of Jacob's trouble when he's going to kill Jews, but he's not going to kill them all. He tried that in World War II, and it didn't work. Then the waters. Now the waters would be a, a mass groups of people had overwhelmed us. The stream had gone over our soul and liking to be drowned in water being drowned amongst listen israel if you look at a map today they are drowned by all the nations around them against them there's not one group of people that are around them that love them Then the proud waters have gone over our soul. It's like into being drowned as their enemies Egypt did in the Red Sea. Blessed, happy be the Lord who has not given us as a prey to their teeth. And yet today they are still rebelling against God, wherever they are. Because God's command to them is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. They're in an army battle right now with Hamas. And if they stop this one before the Lord comes, there'll be others. After the Lord comes, there'll be others. Listen, the Bible speaks of at least two great world wars to come. The one under, under the Antichrist, Revelation 5 or 6, I believe. And then when Satan gathers all the nations together against God at the end of the millennium. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of fowler. Father is somebody who catches birds and the snare is a trap. The bird has been trapped and let go. Israel was in Egypt and let go. 
Israel was in Babylon and let go. And you can't say they're not under the Roman Empire right now because I said you got the Roman Catholic Church over there running the whole show. And you get all these people that go running over there, the Holy Land experience and get the experience. You know, imagine Bible believing Christians going over there and having Roman Catholics teach them what the Bible says about Jerusalem. And come back and tell them about their Holy Land experience. Well, <clears throat> on your Holy Land experience. Because I'm going to see the Holy Land with the Lord Jesus Christ seated at the throne of David. I'm going to see the Holy Land as the curse removed. I'm going to walk the streets of the Holy Land. I don't need to carry a weapon as they do today. You know, you could be sitting at a little pizzeria or something in Jerusalem, and then next you know the, the air sirens go off and missiles flying up. That's not going to happen when I go over the millennium. When I go over the Holy Land in the millennium, the snare is broken and we are escaped. The snare is also a type of trap. You escape from that. Go through the Old Testament. First, second Kings, first, second Chronicles, all those times that, that God, listen, Manasseh, the, the longest, wickedest reigning king, was taken into captivity, repented, and God let him go. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Acts 4.12 says that there's a name above all names whereby you should be saved. Israel will not be saved until they trust in that name, and that name is the Lord Jesus Christ. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So it's not their idols, it's not Baal, it's not Mary, it's not Buddha. It's not education. It's not evolution. It's not money. It is in the God that created heaven and earth. And we are told that that God is God of the Bible, Jehovah, that is also the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. They got to get those three together. See, they are rejecting Jesus Christ. And God is rejecting them. But there will be coming a day that when Israel will be Israel and there will be no other nation. And they will be not in this earth. They will be in the new earth with the curse removed. As we'll get new Jerusalem. Imagine. The heathen, the dead dogs, get the name of the capital of their Jerusalem. We get the new Jerusalem, the city of God. Because we obeyed and believed what they rejected. But yet they still get that land grant. And you're not going to find, I'm sorry to say, I say with great pity and tears in my eyes, the new heavens and new earth and the new universe, the new Jerusalem, you're not going to find America. <laughs> Sorry. You won't find Babylon. You won't find Rome. There will be no Chinese. There will be no Africans. There will be no Indians. There will be Christians under, under the Lord Jesus Christ in New Jerusalem. There will be Jews, children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the new earth. And there will be the nations, just the nations out in the universe. And round about the whole thing will be in the center of Jerusalem, a Jew. John chapter 1, the Lord Jesus Christ. 
So if I were ever to have a time to go before the United Nations, to speak before all the nations of the world, I'd tell them two things. I tell them faith is in the Lord Jesus Christ, and that Jew is God's people. And the Bible says you better, you better bless them, you better help them, you better take care of them, or you've got a curse. And we don't like it. That's tough poo-poo, and you can do whatever you want to do. And God already has you listed in the Bible as you're going to gather together. And you're going to get yourself together, one big great union, so God can destroy you. Okay, so. And it's funny because if the United Nations does not move themselves, I don't know. Maybe they'll go over where the where the Satan's seat will be. But if they don't move themselves, and God has gathered the nations together to destroy them, well, they sit in America. America will be destroyed. But there may be a possibility the United Nations will move themselves central to the Antichrist. But that's it.